going on, everybody? DJ Boule, Nico, Freshwater Fish Tank King. <laughs> nah, but bringing you another Species Saturday. Well, 15 minutes it'll be Species Saturday, but it's called Species Saturday, okay? Don't be difficult. Uh, well, today is an actual very good Species Saturday, very unique Species Saturday. I'm covering the Bumblebee Gobi. It's DJ Boule, you bastard. Very controversial fish. A lot of people have arguments over this fish. Me, including myself, had an argument. But that's beside the point. Uh, I'll get into why they're controversial a little later. But um, I'll give you a little bit of information on the species Saturday. Uh, well, this specific episode, how I chose it, whatnot. I did a um, a forum post on a few uh, fish tank websites and uh, I posted up you know, I need an idea for Species Saturday, I got a YouTube, blah 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 here's the fish I have so pick one uh, a few people picked um, well a few people just said any of them you know they don't really care but uh, a few others um, said well two people actually one, one on each form said uh, Bumblebee Gobi and I was like definitely awesome choice awesome choice uh, these little guys are very very cool a lot to be said about them. Um, I mean, originally when I first did this, the first episode of Species Saturday, it was supposed to be about Bumblebee Gobies, but at the last minute I switched it up and did the parrotfish. So, because um, you know, they weren't in my tank for very long, I didn't have them, I just got them, I only had them for about a week and a half, and um, you know, I didn't want to BS you guys. I mean, yeah, you can read stuff online, but it's not like having first hand knowledge. You know, seeing them in your tank, see how they are, see, you know, their pros, their cons, what they are, aggression, blah, blah, blah. So, I went ahead and waited because, you know, I wanted to give you guys the perfect information. So, let's get right down to it. Alright. Uh, well, Bumblebee Gobi, uh, first off, let me just say, I've had the fish now for about a month, month and a half. I know how they are. I originally uh, bought two. About a week later, I bought two more, but I ended up returning two of them. Because I noticed, you know, they were a little uh, territorial, a little bit aggressive towards each other, which I'll get into a little while. And uh, they're very, very, very picky eaters, which again I'll get into in a little while. And uh, they're they're a little bit difficult, difficult fish. You don't want to just get like a whole bunch of them, throw them in a the tank. You want to get one or two just to, just to get the feel for it. And unfortunately, one of them died about a week and a half ago, about a week or week and a half ago. And um, the other one's doing fine. I just seen him the other day. And uh, anyway, so uh, let's get started. All right. So the controversial part I was speaking about just a few seconds ago is that there's there's a few varieties of, of gobies, but the bumblebee. <laughs> Anyway, like I was saying before I was interrupted, uh, let's see, where was I? Oh yeah, controversy. Controversy with this little tiny cute fish is, uh, there's two, there's a lot of different species of gobies. And, uh, some really, really cool looking ones. And, you know, the ones I got now get a little bit, the one, there's a few that get bigger in whatever. But, um. Two, two species of the goby I'm going to focus on here. One in which is uh, the bumblebee goby, and the other one is the gold banded goby. Now, this isn't a two for one species Saturday, but I am going to tell you a little bit about both. Just because of the controversy. I've had numerous amounts of people, I've read, I've encountered people trying to tell me I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, you know, people online asking if the brackets are fresh. Uh, the one that you see behind me, you probably can't see them, but uh, the one I'm talking about is a bumblebee goby. Bumblebee gobies are in fact fresh water. Despite what you hear from your fish store, or you know, the guy next door that has a 10 gallon tank with five gobies in it, 
Bumblebee Gobies are 100% fresh water. Now, the one the the ones that look very similar to the Bumblebee Goby, which is a brackish water fish, is um, a gold banded Goby. Okay. Now they look very similar. In fact, some uh, fish stores sell them the Goby, the Bumblebee as gold banded and vice versa. Now they get them home and they put them in a freshwater tank and they die. Um, the gold banded uh, will survive in a freshwater tank, but not very long at all. Um, now the Goby, the Bumblebee Gobies can live in fresh water, uh, you know, for a few years, uh, providing the parameters and everything all right. But it really irks me when I see people trying to give advice on something that they, that they don't know anything about. And it took me all of 30 minutes in research and actual hands-on experience to see that they're freshwater fish. Now, at first when I bought them, I bought them, I didn't ask if they were fresh or brackish, and I uh, brought them home, I, 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 I read a few things online, and I was like, oh crap, I got a brackish fish. So, um, then I did a little more research and found out that they're not brackish. Um, let me just give you a real quick description. Bumblebee goby, which I'm talking about today, has uh, solid black stripes all around. Okay, they're black and yellow, you know. They can kind of go through a uh, color morph and get almost like a goldish. But um, the bumblebees are in fact bumblebee colored. They have the, the solid black striping all around them. The uh, gold banded gobies have, um, they, they can have uh, black spots. They can also have um, black uh, stripes, but they're not solid. So it'll be, you know, around one side, stop, and then around, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's not fully striped. That's how you can tell between the two. And, um, well now that that's out of the way, um, let's go on to the actual facts about these guys in the tank, the tips and whatnot. Alright, so, uh, just get a little bit of background on them. Uh, they get two inches in length. Um, let's see what else? They're carnivores, and I'll get into that a little later. But they don't eat any veggies or plants or anything like that, and they're very, very, very picky eaters. That's why I lost the one that I had, and I'll get into some tip, tips about that here in a little while. But um, yes, I know on your haircut. But um, the gobies. The bumblebees, when I say gobies, I mean bumblebee from now on, so don't catch me slipping. But uh, they're from Asia, uh, especially in Thailand. That's where they're, you know, normally from. Um, now, overall difficulty, I've, uh, I'd say probably six, six out of ten, maybe seven out of ten, somewhere around there. Just because of their very picky eating habits. Now, um... The eating habits are, they're very picky eaters. They, they're stubborn. You know, they won't swim up to the top and get the blood worms. Now, don't feed them regular flakes. Okay, now if you have them in a tank like the one you see behind me, which is a tropical community tank, I have other types of fish. I do, um, I put a little bit, well, if the goby's out swimming around, I'll just feed all the fish blood worms. All the fish in here are safe, are blood worms safe. And uh, if I don't see him, or you know, if he's near the bottom, I'll feed the flakes, and then uh, after they eat, I'll turn off the light, wait about 10 minutes for everyone to kind of chillax, and then I'll put some uh, blood worms in there, and I'll throw it inside the filter flow so it kind of starts falling down, and hopefully they'll get it. Um, also, they feed a little bit of stuff on the bottom, too. They're, they're bottom dwellers. And uh, the really, really cool thing about them is uh, also um, about the feeding. They they like um, blood worms, brine shrimp. They love uh, live food, so like baby brine shrimp and uh, all things like that. And uh, the carnivores, like I said, so they like me. Anyway, on to the um, like how they are in the tank. Like I said, uh, they are bottom dwellers, but don't be surprised if you see them attached 
to the you know side of the glass, middle, high, low, whatever. They're, they're kind of all over the tank. But if you had to um, pinpoint it and say one thing, they, they're bottom dwellers. The cool thing about them is, um, well, one of the cool things about them is they have a, uh, a bottom fin, which is like a pelvic, you know, the pelvic, pelvic area. It's like called the pelvic fin. I'm sure there's a scientific name for it. But it actually acts as like almost like a suction cup. And uh, what it does is they, they'll go up to the top on the glass. They'll uh, retract their little, their fin, their bottom fin, and uh, like attach it to the wall. It's like a suction cup, like I said. And they'll, 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 they'll just chill there, you know, until they have to kind of move and, and everything like that. They swim, but they, it's almost like they're, they're hopping around. You know, they'll hop. Yeah. <laughs> Kind of look stupid doing that, but yeah, they hop from one thing to another, which is really cool. And uh, they prefer sand of red, but as the tank you see behind me, it has gravel, and uh, you know, it's not like you're gonna die on gravel. And uh, all, it also, uh, I've noticed that um, in a way, it kind of helps them because they like to suction cup to the actual rock, the pebble. So, uh, I, I mean, I don't know exactly why they like sand, but that's what I read, so I'm just gonna throw that out there. Um, they, like I said before, they are territorial. Um, they can be aggressive towards their own kind. They're not territorial to any other fish, but uh, they can be somewhat aggressive to their own kind. So just keep that in mind. Tank requirements is 10 gallon minimum. I'd only recommend one goby per 10 gallon, though it says on certain sites that you can do two per 10. But uh, I just recommend one per 10. And um, that's why I returned the other ones that I had, because uh, I had four, and this is only 20 gallon tank, so, yeah. I mean, technically it's okay, but I just didn't feel right with it. I didn't want to kill the fish, so. Yeah, that's about it, about the uh, tank requirements and how they are inside the tank. So let's go on to um, the uh, water parameters. Alright, so... Water parameters, most important part to any aquarium. Screw the decoration, screw this, screw that. Water parameters is the number one most important thing. Okay, uh, water parameters. Uh, the temperature, it, well I already mentioned the tank uh, size and all that. Water temperature should be 73 to 85. Uh, the one you see behind me is set at 78. And uh, they seem to like it just fine. The pH can vary from 7 to 8.5, so you know, not really uh, too fragile there. It's not where the difficult difficulty comes into. The difficulty comes into the feeding because they're so picky. Uh, let's see if I am missing anything here on my notes. Just some tips for you. Uh, they do like um, a lot of live plants because they are kind of shy. They take a while to fit in. When you take them home, introduce them with the lights off for you know a couple hours, and then turn the light on, or even overnight, it's fine. Uh, it took about a week for them to fit in. I mean, sometimes I'll even come up to the tank and you know make sure all the fish are fine. I can't. I don't know where this guy is. I don't know where he is. I've like looked everywhere. And then next day I'll come and he's attached to the wall. So don't be don't be too afraid if you can't find them because they, they hide really well. Just see if you have some hiding spots. They like driftwood. Uh, unfortunately, I have driftwood in back here. They stay two inches at the maximum. Uh, they don't get big at all. The B. Nunez. B. Nunez. I don't know really. I don't know how to say it, but that is the scientific name for the um, well, part of the scientific name for the uh, gold banded gory, which we already talked about. That's the brackish bumblebee goby, is what we're talking about today. That is 100% fresh water. Okay, and that is about it, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. Um, Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, man. More to come. Hit the like button. Subscribe. Drop a comment. Peace. Alright. What you see over here to my right is uh, scrolling text is the fish that I have now. I have six tanks, so I have a lot of species. So, this is the third episode. For the fourth episode, I want you guys to pick which species you want to see for the species Saturday, okay? 
It can be anything from the common fish to an advanced fish. So drop a comment below. My freaking phone's ringing, so I gotta go. But um, pick. The ones in red are the ones I've already done, and also down in the description, the one with the star bite is the ones I've already done, so that's it. Make sure you drop a comment what you want to see. Peace out, guys. God bless.